it's Monday and it all starts again. So what's the plan? Well, we're going to be talking about running seven days a week. Is that going to cure my heavy legs on a Monday morning? We'll get to that in a bit. So before that, let's have a chat about my runs on Saturday and Sunday, because obviously I, I didn't vlog then. So on Saturday, I put together a kind of on-off session, which basically consisted of running 10 miles, which consisted of a one mile warm up, and then off on times four, and then a one mile warm up, oh, sorry, warm up, warm down on the way home. So the on and offs, purpose of that is obviously to run slower a mile, quicker a mile, but still keep it reasonable intensity. So my offs were between 7.15 and 7.20, and my ons around about 6.50, 6.55, which I managed, which is good. My breathing still wasn't fantastic. My energy levels are still not there, but you know, it's a start. You probably wonder why I'm looking at the ground, but there's puddles everywhere, because unfortunately it's been uh, raining, and I think that's gonna be like that for the rest of the week. So uh, Sunday, just kept it to a mile, just to run, free up my legs, ready for today, and see if it helps with the uh, heavy legs. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. Also had my uh, learning in running fitness course, the actual virtual course. We had to log in online and actually speak to real people. So that was really enjoyable. And I've done all my modules, videos, etc. So I'm just waiting for confirmation that I've passed, which is fantastic. Because I can't wait to get stuck in that. Maybe start some uh, five, couch to 5Ks, and then kind of take it from there. And hopefully grow some sort of business out of it. So let's talk about the uh, running seven days a week. So we all know it's important to have a recovery day because we need to recover. And I've been running five, six days for quite a while now, so my body's used to it. And I've thought about running seven days a week. But as I mentioned before, on a Monday morning, my legs are always heavy. And they don't get stuck firing until probably the Wednesday. So uh, I watched a few live streams, had a few comments from people, and they said, have you tried running seven days a week? And some of the GB people that I, I saw online, I don't know that wing come from, said that they prefer to run seven days a week. One of them mentioned that uh, she finds that her uh, tendons um, tighten up if she doesn't run, but if she carries on running, you know, this, this stays stretched. Someone else mentioned that when they stop, obviously the, the muscle, they get more, their muscles kind of tighten up um, and they both described kind of similar symptoms, which I've mentioned, you know, that heavy leg. So how am I feeling today? Well, I'm on a 10 mile run today, just keeping it nice and easy all week. And they feel great. They feel light. Yes, my breathing's not 100%, but you know, that's, that's another issue. But it's something that I'm looking to do going forward. Um, I wouldn't recommend just going straight into running seven days a week if you haven't done it before. And on my recovery day, I am still just running a mile. It's very easy. I'm not looking to do any long sessions on that, that recovery day. Or if you know if the weather was really, really bad, I could just go on the spin bike for you know a couple of miles. So it's just about keeping those tendons stretched, keeping the muscles loose. Um, but I will keep you posted. But I'd say the signs are, are positive at the moment. Uh, so this week, what's the plan? Well, it's just about just keeping lowish intensity, aiming to try and get 50 miles on the board. So on Wednesday, as you know, we've got a track session. Um, we've got a 5K time trial this week. And, you know, as I'm in an hour in, shall I do it, shall I not? But I'm not really in that sort of shape. I've got a half marathon coming up. And so I don't want to disappoint myself or knock myself in. So I decided just to pace people for a sub tw tw you know, 20 minutes, 5K. If anyone's interested, you know, I'll just pace them to it and we'll see if we can get people below that kind of magic number. So just back from the 10 mile run, wow. What a difference. I normally dread Mondays because I say my legs are heavy, no spring, and there is even points on the course because I do the same 10 mile course most Mondays. 
and I get to about seven miles on this hilly undulating bit and sometimes my legs uh, felt so shot that I end up walking but today I went out they felt light springy not heavy at all you know all from doing that one mile yesterday which isn't going to make you know, any difference to my recovery because it was only an easy one mile because my legs were just feeling amazing so I would recommend it if you are at the stage where you're running five six days a week uh, to do that active recovery I've tried walking but that didn't work uh, but I know you obviously could go on a bike but just a mile gentle jog um, you know it's taken me a year to get to running five six days a week you know quite comfortably if you are looking to do stuff on your you know recovery days even if you're taking four days off or you're taking one day off just find something that works whether it's um, you know a brisk walk a little cycle you know or, you know or even a very very short jog uh, because I say it's made such a difference you know the amount of times that I've gone gone to races and thought oh yeah I'll take a couple of days off before and then you start the race your legs are that got that heavy you know heavy feeling you know yes sometimes it could be down to uh, you know nerves and you don't sleep well you know the night before um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Stephen so I can't remember your last name um, he said if I need any tips or anything on running seven days a week at the time he'd run 866 days in a row you know, that is just amazing the one the commitment you know on, on Christmas Day and stuff like that the weather um, obviously not being injured you know that is this kind of mind-blowing isn't it so it's something I'm looking to go you know to take forward um, you know and do where I can um, obviously you know family stuff obviously comes first let me know if you've had any experience with it um, and drop some uh, drop us a note in the comments well there was something else I wanted to tell you so on the way here I was running on the path I saw this crow kind of fly into a tree above me and kind of look towards me and in the back of my mind I thought if I carry him run on the path I think he's gonna crap on me and so I veered off went on the verge and just as I run past bingo crap hits the floor I'm positive he done it on purpose or she or just the bird should we call it has that ever happened to you that you think a bird's ever purposely pooed on you because we all know they do it to our cars when they clean it so anyway how's your week planned out have you got any races um, are you what sort of mileage you're looking to do this week let me know in the comments and as for always I will speak to you tomorrow